get to him. What's happening, friends? Ryan McCaffrey with IGN alongside Destin Legary. Hey. Join us every week on Unlocked, Bam. our weekly Xbox <laughs> show on IGN. Uh, Destin, this is Crackdown 3, and this is the Wrecking Zone multiplayer, mm -hmm. which is the whole ballyhooed thing with Crackdown 3. The, the, the destructible cloud, yes. cloud power environment. Cloud powered yeah. environmental destruction. So, uh, this is a full match. Uh, of course, I cherry picked a match where I played well. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, th th there are three maps that are shipping with the game, each sort of with a different theme. The theme with this one is more destructibility. So, mm -hmm. this is the map that kind of emphasizes the destruction because there are buildings in your way. You can dash through them, yeah, you can as you shoot did there. through them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see a little bit of destruction there. there. Tumbling down. The, the buildings themselves don't seem to hurt the other players. But it is fun to smash through the walls because of the lock-on mechanic. You're often trying to break line of sight, so you'll just you'll dash through a wall and and you'll just smash right through. And that's that's sort of fun. Yeah, and that's you see right there with that. I was I my I was painted right there. My mm -hmm. I was locked on to, so I was trying to break that line of sight. And yeah, that is that is sort of the the gist of the gameplay is it's lock-on based. Hold LT to lock on to somebody. Mm -hmm. You can lock on from really far away. But then that's just going to give them the heads up that, that you've got them. And exactly. so then they can just try to break line of sight on you. So um, now the whole thing is set in like a simulation. That's why you see all these sort of, you know, grid-like patterns all mm -hmm. over the place. And, and Destin, so what did you think of this? Yeah, so for me, my game was running really framey. Like, I don't think I was getting a, a solid 30. So that, that was kind of a bummer. Uh, once I got the grasp of it and the lock-on mechanic and such, I'm like, okay, I get it. But we played for what two, an three hour. hours? It was just an hour, something like that. Well, it was a while. It was let's a, say a we played for two hours. By the end of the two <laughs> hours, I was kind of like, "Yeah, I'm ready to try out campaign." I, I was sort of, I, I, I got was the, in the gist same of boat. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, I mean, so this is—I I forget the actual name of this game mode, but it's the equivalent of uh, of kill confirmed from mm -hmm. from what you've seen in other games. But yeah, my big thing with this is okay. The the core, the gameplay was decent. The destructibility was really cool. See, you think it, see, that's, I didn't really think so. Oh, really? You're, you're seeing it here. And, I mean, and for, I'll tell you the reason mm -hmm. that I wasn't super impressed with the destructibility. Uh, Joseph Staten, the, the senior creative director on this project, uh, told me that, that one match, it's, this is, that what we're seeing is the equivalent of 12 Xbox Ones oh, wow. running in the cloud to, to make all this destruction possible. And, it, and like, okay, on paper, the destruction is cool, but, that's actually my, the issue that I have with it is that it kind of, the buildings kind of feel like paper. Like I, I yeah. just felt like I was tearing through cardboard or styrofoam. It, they didn't, it didn't have a weight to it. And mm -hmm. I know that's, may, you're gonna think- Like, like if a building falls on you, it doesn't actually injure you. Exactly, like it just, it just didn't feel like it, the destruction really mattered, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. It's just for breaking line of sight, really. Yeah. I, I meant from a technical perspective, uh, one of my gameplay clips, I just stood there and I kind of blew up some of the statues at the very beginning. And I was like, oh man, this is really neat. It's neat how everything falls down. But when you have a piece of tech like that, it's what do you do with it? Right. Well, we'll have them break line of sight with it. So it, it's an interesting ability that we now know the Xbox has and that, that Crackdown has introduced us to. Yeah. But I'm just, I'm not sure that they they executed on on it's full potential in this particular building. Yeah, I mean, yeah, here you see like all these holes in buildings, but again, it just, it didn't, it doesn't feel, mm -hmm. <laughs> pardon the phrasing, concrete. It doesn't <laughs> feel concrete to me. Yeah. And it, and that, and as such, it didn't really seem like it, it added a lot to the experience. And mm -hmm. So yeah, I was with you, but after, by the end of the multiplayer session, I, I'd kind of had enough. Like mm -hmm. I was like, all right, let's show me the campaign, which, we also have a campaign video. We have yes. the first, about first 15 minutes of the game. Mm -hmm. If you want to look for that video on IGN or, or on uh, youtube.com slash IGN. But yeah, it, it's okay. That's the thing, mm -hmm. it's not bad. I want to make it very, it's very just, clear. It's not, okay. this is not bad in any stretch, but yeah, it just, I wouldn't say it really wowed me either. Yeah, I'm not like, oh yes, Crackdown has multiplayer. Yeah. I'm actually the, the opposite of that. I'm like, okay, I'm really, really excited to get in power up and everything, and maybe I'll play multiplayer. Yeah. If, if there's some incentivization to do so. so Just to check out the destructibility exactly. of Wolf statues. And stuff. So feel free to uh, watch the remainder of this match. I got a few good kills, did all right on the leaderboard. 
So uh, check that out. And for more on all things Crackdown, stay tuned for our review of Crackdown 3 coming up uh, right around its February 15th launch. And for more on all things Crackdown, keep it tuned right here to IGN. Omega with the wind. <laughs>